Hey, hey, my name is Emilio and today we are going to be looking at how to install ESXi VMware's ESXi 7 onto a Mac, specifically a Mac Mini. So I've got this Mac Mini. I used to use it. It used to be my media center. Now it's a little bit older and now I just want to install ESXi onto it so that I can run it in a lab environment. You can really do this with any Mac. Doesn't matter what sort of Mac you've got. As long as it's one that's not super, super old, you can install ESXi natively onto this computer, onto the hardware. So we're gonna go through those steps today. Please remember as always to subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, clicking on that bell to be kept up to date with everything that I've got going on. All right, so before we get into that demo, a little bit of, a, of an overview of what's going to happen. So what we're gonna do is we need to get ourselves a VMware ESXi 7 ISO. So this is the installer file that you need to download from the VMware website. You need to get this first. We're assuming that you've got this. You can download it. I've got a link in my description on where to download it. And I do have an other, another video on where to find that uh, installer uh, and be able to download it completely for free with a serial number and everything. And you can use it for free forever, which is really, really great. Uh, once you've got that, you also need to get yourself a USB stick. We're going to be booting our Mac mini with a USB stick. Essentially, we're gonna have this USB stick. We're gonna make it bootable with ESXi 7. We then plug it into the back of our Mac mini, and then we can boot into that installer and then install all of our VMware environment right onto the Mac mini. Very, very easy to do. So get yourself your ISO, get yourself a USB stick, and then we go from there. So we're now gonna cross over to a Mac that I've got with some software that is going to let me essentially make that uh, bootable USB stick. Then we go into the installation on our Mac mini. So here we are on our computer. Now there are two things that you need to do to get this ready to go. The first is to go and get yourself the VMware uh, ESXi 7 installer. The second thing is you need to get yourself a USB stick to install that ESXi 7 ISO and actually make that USB stick bootable. So the tool that we're gonna be using is a tool called UNet Boot In. It's available for Windows, for Mac, on Linux. You need to get the ESXi 7 uh, mounted onto this USB stick and make that USB stick bootable. We've gone and downloaded this software uh, through here. This is the website uh, and we've got it right here on our desktop. We've opened it up and here is the application right here. In here, there are two options. There's distribution, but we're gonna be selecting disk image. So we now click on these three little dots and we navigate to the ISO file of that uh, ESXi 7. Here it is on my desktop, we select it, we say open. Once that's selected, under USB drive, you've got it listed and your drive, USB drive should be listed. Now, if it's not, it's because your USB stick is not in the correct file format. It needs to be formatted into FAT32 to be able to let this software read it. So if you haven't got it listed in here, you need to go to Spotlight on the very top and look up the disk utility. So once we've got Disk Utility open, you'll see that my drive here is the untitled one. What we wanna do is under here, under the very top left-hand corner, we're gonna select View and select Show All Devices. So we don't wanna format just this. We wanna actually go to the level just above, which is the actual top level. We wanna select that, select Arrays, and then click on FAT, MS-DOS FAT right here, and make sure that the scheme is GUID Partition Map, and then select Arrays. That should now be done. And now we go back to the app. We now select OK. And now it's doing its thing. It's extracting and copying that. It'll install the bootloader, which is what makes the USB stick bootable. And then the installation will be complete. We're gonna say yes to all to override everything. And that is now ready to go. So as it says right here is after rebooting, hold the option key and select USB drive to boot from it. So now that is ready to go. So we can now exit. We can open up that USB stick. And we can see there's a whole bunch of files in here now, which weren't in here before. Uh, this is all relevant to the installation of ESXi 7, which is brilliant, very, very easy to do. Now the next step is really to now dismount your USB stick, plug it into your Mac, and then we're going to boot into our Mac. So here is the Mac, the Mac mini, ready to go, all plugged up. We've got ourselves our USB stick that we're going to now run into the back on our Mac keyboard. We're gonna hold down the option key and then power the Mac on, and it will now boot in to the screen that you see right here 
where you've got Macintosh hard drive, which is your normal Mac OS installer, but then also EFI boot, which is the installer for ESXi. So select EFI boot and uh, the installation of ESXi will begin. So you'll see that everything is now loading. Uh, essentially the ESXi boot has commenced on our Mac mini. If you're not seeing this on your Mac mini, it could be that the USB stick had, does not have the bootable ISO properly configured. So you'll have to go back and recheck those steps. You'll see that now the preliminary loading of all of the files for ESXi is now completed. And we're now presented with a nice welcome to VMware ESXi 7 installation. So this is excellent terms and conditions. So it's identified the hard drive from your Mac. As soon as we select this hard drive, essentially your Mac OS and uh, all the data on that Mac OS uh, is going to be deleted. Select your keyboard layer, which will leave as the default. So this is really the root admin password that you're going to be using to log into this ESXi host. Final confirmation here, uh, are you happy to now install ESXi 7? If you are, F11. And then the installation for 7 uh, commences. It shouldn't take too long. So the installation is now completed. Now the recommendation here is to remove the installation media before rebooting. So remove that USB stick and then we can click on enter to reboot. ESXi is now installed. It is generally a recommendation to go and make your ESXi host's IP address static so that your IP doesn't change. So what we can do is we can select F2, throw in your root password that you just created earlier, select configure management network and press enter. And then we scroll down to IPv4 configuration. So right in here, you'll see that by default, it says use dynamic. Uh, IP, which is your DHCP. We're gonna go and select set static IP, and then we can actually go and manually put in the IP address that we want to use. Because you have made some changes, it's gonna ask you to sort of restart your management network. We're gonna say Y for yes. Now that the Mac is set up, ESXi is running, you don't have to do really anything else on that Mac other than really leaving it on so that you can access it from another computer. So now really the next step is to now log in to this ESXi host, uh, which is now been running on your Mac mini. So on our web browser, this is on a separate Mac. Uh, we've opened up a web browser. You can do this from Windows PC, from your smartphone, whatever it may be. We're gonna log in with those root credentials that we configured when we set up our uh, ESXi 7 on that Mac mini. And here it is. This is now the uh, vSphere console, essentially over a web browser, uh, giving you information around the computer, the IP address. Uh, you've got virtual machines that you can now build. You've got storage, which is gonna be using the storage on your Mac mini itself. So now VMware ESXi i7 is in a fully operating environment on a Mac mini, which is absolutely brilliant. So here is my Mac mini now set up, ready to go. I've put it in my own little lab environment that I've got right here. You'll see that it's just on top of my switch there. And I don't need to have a screen or anything plugged into it. See just to the left of it, there is a little Intel NUC, which also has ESXi. So I've got both of them sort of running side by side in my VMware environment. And now both ESXi hosts are part of a larger vCenter cluster uh, so that I can build VMs across either of the two. But it's excellent having this little Mac mini that was spare to be able to install ESXi onto it. So there you have it, the Mac mini set up running ESXi 7. Please like my video if you did like this video and click on that button and on the bell to subscribe to my channel and be kept up to date with every technology video that I am releasing. Thanks again for watching, really, really appreciate it. We'll see you next time.